Hello, so today's video is the first installment in my Kohler Extreme Stress Test series and today I will be featuring the product and how it holds up on its own throughout the day. So if you are interested, please keep watching. Okay, so I started by applying Mally's Perfect Prep Primer and my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and these are the two shades of Kohler Extreme I'll be using today. So I did notice with the Cold Air Extreme that you need to set the dial. Um, normally you have it at 12 o'clock. I personally like to set it just a little bit past 12 at about 1 o'clock. And I find it comes out of the gun really smoothly. And of course when we're doing our makeup we gotta listen to music. Need them tunes. Get you through the process. So this is me getting through my process. <laughs> Alright, but now more seriously here. So I am applying four drops of the darker shade of the color Extreme, and that is what I'm going to be using as my contour color. So here I'm just going to go ahead and apply my contour like so. Um, I usually like to apply it in all the areas that I bronze my face. So just um, underneath the cheekbones, um, up the temples, up the forehead. Um, on the sides of my nose, I do like to contour my nose just a bit. And then I will apply that on my chin and jawline as well dragging it down to my neck if needed. Okay, so now that I have that done, of course the Color Extreme only comes in a foundation shade, so I do have to use regular blush. So here I'm just going to apply my blush like I usually do, and here I'm just using Peach Pink. Now on to foundation. So I am using two shades of Color Extreme to get my perfect match, and I'm mixing them together. And I'm just going to go ahead and start um, just slightly passing over some areas that need a little bit more help before I go ahead and cover my whole face. So you'll see me, it's almost like spot treating those areas with my foundation color. Um, it just gives me a little bit extra coverage in the areas that I know that tend to be a little bit um, problematic. So now I'm just going to go ahead and apply the foundation like I normally do, making passes around the face like so. So, so far I did notice that the um, Color Extreme goes on really smooth. Um, it does dry pretty fast and it, I noticed that it does have a pretty strong matte finish. So I don't know if you like that sort of thing, if it'd be good, but if you didn't, I do recommend probably mixing it with um, the Color Radiance to give it a little bit softer of a look. But as far as coverage, I mean it's covering beautifully and the coverage is amazing. So here I'm just taking the lighter shade, of course, of the Color Extreme and applying that as my highlight. Down the bridge of my nose, above my cheekbones, forehead, cupid bow, all that good stuff. Like I said, so far the Color Extreme has been extremely smooth and the coverage has been really great. Okay, so now I did go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and here's a close-up of the coverage that I achieved using just the Color Extreme. And then of course here are images with the flash on. As you can see, it takes pho it photographs really well pretty much. And then here are some images with the flash off. As you can see, the texture of my skin is very smooth, which we all love. So the time now is about 10.36 a.m. So I guess I will go ahead and check in with you guys later. So it is now later. Um, more precisely, it is about 11.45 at night. Um, and so far, I have to say that the coverage really held up beautifully. As you can see, my face is not as oily as it normally is. Now, take in mind if you do see a little shine, I did use some highlighter on my face. So I'll go ahead and show you the close-up picture so you can see what's actually oil. So here is the image of my skin, of course, after um, hours of wear with the Kohler Extreme. I have extremely oily skin, so so far I'm thinking that this is amazing. Um, that more of my oils didn't show through using this foundation and of course here is a before and after so you can go ahead and see really how much came through and then of course the negative so you can see how much oil there were. I did notice that um, there was a little bit of cracking around my nose area and a little loss of the coverage under my lip. That's pretty much the only thing that I saw as a negative but of course that can be fixed just using um, regular concealer of course so I'll think of ways to fix that. Um, overall, I think the coverage was great, and I'm extremely tired now, so I guess I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.